What's up and welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we're going for a ride in a 1963 C10 pickup truck. This one here has got like a 70 model motor in it. It's a 350. No power steering, no power brakes, and it needs a fan shroud just to protect your hands. It actually helps, you know, cool everything down as well. We're going to be checking it all out during the test drive so you know what you're getting before you get here. At the end of the video, we're going to be looking for chips, scratches, rust, dents, whatever I can find. You can also look at the 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. We do have financing and shipping available on that site. With that being said, every Monday I update with new inventory. Make sure this is still available before you call. All right, guys. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, we'll look around the interior and check everything out. Go ahead and place your bets. Do you think the horn works? Be trying that out here in just a moment. B&M shifter right here, aftermarket gauges. Coming across the dash here. The seat has been upgraded. It's in pretty good shape. Headliner in this one's just painted. It looks good. Let's go ahead and start her up. She sounds good. Oil pressure's up at idle around 35. Volts 14. Water temperature has not moved yet, so we'll be checking that. Fan is working, the blower motor, no AC. Radio, let's see what we got here. Can't get her to cut on, but I may just be doing something wrong. Here we go, tuner. Radio is cutting on, so we got some sound there. Mess around with some of this stuff. It's our lights. Wonder if the choke still works. They don't have it hooked up. No wipers on this one. The little knob doesn't seem to be screwed in all the way. So it's not quite twisting. Come on. Feels like the switch is messed up though because it's got a nice spring back when I let go of it. Yeah. I'll say wipers need some work. Turn signals. Yeah, let's shut this door. He started a car behind me. Turn signals are not popping up on the dash or right here. We'll be checking that also throughout the test drive. Horns, you place your bets? We ain't got nothing. No horn on this one. There's no spring in the cap. All right, guys. Let's hit the road. We'll see how she runs and drives. All right, getting ready to take off here. Anything I see, I will let you know. Starting to get hot and humid here in Tennessee again. Let's try this vent window. Let a little air up in the pant leg. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see. Push down on that shifter there. I like to try reverse first, let's see. Reverse is working, neutral. And yes, we're missing seat belts in this one. Drive. Gas gauge is fluttering around on the dash. So we're gonna stop and get some fuel right now. It is, uh, it's like bouncing around quarter tank there. I think after fuel, we'll probably be around half the tank. Let's see how she goes. Anything I see, you'll know about it. speedometer is just stuck at 65 mile an hour it's not moving at all you do got a little bit of slack in the steering but a lot of times when you don't have power steering they leave slack in it but as far as I can see it's traveling pretty straight down the road it's not really pulling to the left or right the road's gonna make you move around too but what I can see it's going straight as an arrow right now Barb's popping a little bit. Hear that? Kick down's not hooked up. Brakes on this one. Pulling to the left a little bit. They probably got a little dust on them. They're still pulling to the left. Let's see. They stop fast too. I can't really get in them right now because the guy behind me. I don't want them uh, hitting us at all. 
near that car either needs to be adjusted or it's got ethanol in it. Uh, I say that because, you know, the gas that we have nowadays, it's kind of full of ethanol. And if you let these sit any time, maybe a year or so, it's going to dry up inside that carburetor and you're going to have to drive it out or clean it out. With that being said, let's put more gas in it. We'll put about $20 worth of premium fuel and check this gas gauge and see if it works. Try not to hit too many puddles. It finally quit raining for a little bit so I can make some videos. Never thought I'd fiend to make car videos, but I love it. <laughs> I'll be back, guys. All right, just put $20 worth of fuel in this one. I noticed they moved the gas tank into the back, put the cap in the bed, and I have a key for it on the key inside the truck. Let's see if that gauge works. I'm gonna say it does the way it was moving around on the way here. All right, let's jump up in here. Kind of looks like our uh, water temperature gauge is starting to come up too. Look at that, it's already up to half a tank. It was that quarter tank when we got here. Starts up good. Okay, let's keep rolling. Okay, so far so good. Engine temperature is at 190 right now, but it keeps coming back down to 180. Oil pressure's right around 20 at idle, and that's us sitting here for a while. I've had it running for 45 minutes or so, and then I cut it off and did a walk around video, which I'm gonna put at the end of this video. Well, it's easy to slip past drive. There we go. It's clicking but it is easy to slide down into second gear there. So I'll right, head on back to the lot, hitting the brakes. You can see it's throwing everything in the floor. They stop good. Still pop. 
stopping and hesitating, but that's clearing up pretty good. Like I said, I've had it running for a while. Let's hit the brakes again. When you floor it, it will do that. I'm thinking it's still trying to clear everything out of that car. But it's much better than at first. I think it's gotten past some of it. We cleaned a little bit of that ethanol out. Suspension on this one's quite smooth. Oh, they got somebody on this road here. Uh-oh. I think it's somebody walking. I believe I've seen that guy walking through the lot earlier. Still pulling to the left when you hit the brakes. See that? When you first initially hit the brakes, it does pull to the left. Wow, look at that. <laughs> that was way up in the air, wasn't it? Let's come on through Brian's Motorsports now and see what he's got going on. So yeah, if you want to customize your vehicle, this guy does wheels, tires, parts, accessories. He also does stereo systems, and he's literally next door to Maple Motors. So be sure to check him out, briansmotorsports.com. You can find him here on YouTube. Tell him Nick sent you from Maple Motors. He don't have too much going on out here. I know he takes this everywhere to car shows all over. I'm sure y'all have had to see that. Some of y'all have had to. He's been to so many different car shows with that one here in the last two years since he built it. He just tries to build something totally different than everybody else. He's got a Continental Lincoln sitting around here somewhere. Let's go ahead and head on to the lot. We're gonna take the back way. Okay. Whoa, watch out for this photo. That better not have got them wet. <laughs> Guys, I appreciate you watching, getting ready to do that walk around where we're picking out chip scratches, flaws, anything else I could find on the body and paint. So stick around for that, and I appreciate you watching the test drive part of the video. Be sure to hit subscribe. That helps me out more than you think. Have a good one. See you in a minute. Okay, getting ready to walk around this ride. Point out chips, scratches, flaws, anything we can find. Look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. There's also a bio on each and every vehicle. And every Monday we update with new cars. Let's get started. Coming around on the front end on this one. Got a few chips. Chip there. Little marks here up on the side. Chip up here on top. Little scuff. A 
little indentions there. A little scuff here. Got some scuffs on the edge here too. A couple dimples in the paint. Kind of see them in the light. A little scuff there. Chips. The bottom of the, the panel here, you can see where it's been fixed. Where it's kind of coming back apart. The edge there, the touch-up marks, a little rust in the door. A couple bubbles popping up. Some right here too. More touch-up marks down at the bottom. Chips on the edge there. There. bubble in the back here cracks at the bottom on your step here you got chips a few little bubbles up in here also in a corner here a wax left over you also got some cracks up here Looks like some, uh, I wonder if that'll come off. It is coming off. Dirt just on the back side here. I thought it maybe stains more or messed with it, it came off. A little foggy on that light there, coming back. mark in the back here crack up here you can see that's where they filled in the old gas cap but it does have marks left behind chip here door handle looks good little bubble here chip chip there Mirror's in good shape. We'll be going over the hood here shortly. Let's come back up over the front windshield. Light scratch. You can see it coming around here. It's very light. It could almost be taken off. Looks like they put a pinstripe around the cab area. Little spot here. Chips up here. In the corner there. Little spot on the corner here as well. There's a dimple. They lined that up on the side, but they didn't do by the cab or on this side, on the tailgate. Down here on the edge, it's got some imperfections by the tailgate. The bed itself looks pretty good, in good shape. Sorry, I feel like I'm spinning y'all around in the bed here. <laughs> that didn't sound right all right coming back on the bumper here a little scuff 
the edges here are not perfect. I like what they've done with this. Stickers, chip. All right, coming back down this side. A little hazy on the tail light. That's coming off there. Looks like wax. Definitely wax down in the step here. Back in the cab. Doors hanging on the bottom here. You can see where it's been touched up. Little bubbles in the corner. Chip there. Little crack down at the bottom here. Touch up marks, touch up mark. Scuff there, spot here. Bubble in the middle of the door. Bubbles right here as well. On the edge. Got some little spots popping up above the door handle too. See a few blemishes. I'm trying to zoom in on them. What you got going on there? All the fabric's kind of tearing. A little weak. Right there by the antenna. Scratch here, coming all the way down. Let's move this magnet tag here. Look behind it, pretty good. Not bad at all. All right, let's go ahead and check out the interior. See what else we got going on. Coming up on the door panel here. A few little blemishes there. See some chips down in the bottom corner. Edge of that door, a little Bondo trying to pop out there. And at the bottom here. Chips there in the corner. Just looking around at everything here. The seat in this one is like new. It looks great. Carpet has been changed out. It's pretty new. I move the gas to the back here. The old gas tanks under the bed now. The truck itself just looks awesome on the inside here. I think pretty much the only thing that I would do is repaint that glove box. It's got a lot of chips. Start her up.
Of course, at idle, looks like the oil pressure is about 25, 30. Engine temperature is good on this one. I've never seen it get over 180. If it did, it came right back down. Checking out the cab, not too bad. A few blemishes over here where it looks kind of flat. Okay. like a slight lifter noise coming from driver's side here. What did I do here? I tried to fill a hole. It was like a rag or something. It needs to be patched up better. We're just trying to keep water out. Looks like it got painted over or something. I didn't know what that was. Almost thought it was rubber. Paint runs there. Chip in the corner here. The edge there as well. Well, haze right here. Look on top, you got some blemishes popping up on the hood too. Little scuff marks there. It shuts pretty good. Not bad. Looks like a spot here, bubble popping up. You got some imperfections on this side too see that on the hood comes up to here some over here too guys i hope you enjoyed this video i tried to point out all the flaws on this truck look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com that'll help you out as well financing and shipping is available on all of our cars and every monday we update with about 10 we try to limit it you know just to stay open keep cars in stock i mean we sell about 60 cars a month if i could buy 100 i almost guarantee we could sell them but i don't want to be that busy none of us do up there we are a family-owned business and we're a small business been around about 40 years so i think we're doing just fine putting 10 on every monday but that is your best chance of picking up a ride from us we go to car shows find these and uh bring them back clean them up sell them to you i don't fix a thing i just tell you how it is tell you what's going on with it and if you're okay with it then come purchase a car from us Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit subscribe, share, hit like, and thank you. I'll see you in the next video.